Hey everyone, this is Ollie and Kate coming out with another video from Every Cloud Bait Shop. Today we're going to be reviewing and giving you our opinions on the brand new Writer's Squad style. They've come into a couple of our stores very recently and they'll be coming into more and more stores very, very soon. So, let's get started. Mm. And I haven't tried any of these yet, so I'm actually really excited because it hasn't got round to coming into my store yet, so... See, that's really interesting because they've been in my store for a couple of weeks now, so mm -hmm. I've really been able to try a lot of these. I'm definitely a fan of some of them. It's going to be your first time, Excellent. which is really good. Yeah. Today, we're going to be using the UL Calibre um, Pod Kit as the tester. Um, these devices are amazing, and they do really well with the mm -hmm. Rise Consults, I've found. Especially like with our customers, they're saying flavour off the pods is really good from what you would expect from a tester. So, to get started with, we're going to start with the bubble gum. This one is supposed to be very similar to the bubble gum chiller that they do for their short fills. Um, so yeah, lovely flavour. Bubble gum, ice, it's just like the short fill to be honest, still a really strong flavour. But still really smooth with that new hybrid nicotine that they've decided to do. What do you think of that one? I love that one. Yeah, you a fan? That tastes so bubble gummy, it's well nice. What would you give that one out of 10? I don't want to go too hard to start with, so I'll give okay. it 8 and a half. 8 and a half. Very strong score. So <laughs> start, I think for my personal preference of flavours, I'm going to give this a 6, because I'm more fruitier than I am on the um, kind of sweeter. Yeah. So the next one we're going to be moving on to is Blue Burst, which is a blue raspberry slushy, mm -hmm. very similar to the Beaky Blue from the Ghetto Penguin range. Beaky Blue. Is it? I've needed Beaky Blue in my life <laughs> in a salad. Yeah, I've been missing out on Beaky Blue. And what are your thoughts on that, Kate? Oh. It is Beaky Blue. It's Beaky Blue. It's so good. So we're currently two for two on both of us liking them mm -hmm. at the moment. Obviously, you're definitely a bigger fan of the first one. But yeah. Oh. Score out of 10? I mean, it's Beaky Blue. It's so strong to start with. <laughs> well, I'll start off then. I'm going to give this a strong... Um, I'm going to give it a nine, personally. Wow. I love Beaky Blue. I'll give it a seven. Seven? Okay. Okay. Get that out. Sweet, the next one is going to be Cherry Fizzle, which is, this is my favourite, personally. It's a cherry sherbet, really nice flavour. I love this one. I'm using it currently at the moment, actually. 10 out of 10. There's nothing much more to say for me on that one. I love that stuff. What do you say, Kate? Right, it is cherry sherbet, so you're getting a lot of the sherbet coming off. Good, because we get a lot of people asking for sort of sherbet flavours, so that would be perfect. I really like that. Score out of 10. Seven and a half. Okay, so nothing's beaten the bubble gun yet. Nice. Awesome. So we're gonna move on to something a little bit different. Um, this is gonna be sweet leaf, uh, which is a vanilla tobacco. So me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of tobacco, mm -hmm. but I'm going with an open mind. We don't have a lot of tobacco salt flavors either, so this is really good. It's definitely very vanilla-y, but as I said, tobaccos aren't for me. However, if you are partial to tobacco flavors, this mm -hmm. one would probably definitely be for you, really. So as nice I can't though. give this a proper grade, but I'm gonna look at it. Objectively, I'm gonna give it a strong, for a tobacco, strong seven out of 10 from me. Yeah, it's a nice tobacco flavor. It's got a lot of flavor to it. It's quite complex tobacco, so it's... What would you give it out of 10? About a six. Okay, okay. It's not as sweet, but, but that's then, because it's a tobacco in it, so I'm sort of like, mm, tobacco, but yeah. Yeah, for a tobacco, I'd say... Just wanted to pure vanilla. Yeah. So moving on to the next one, we're gonna be Exotic Fruit Frenzy. So this is a mixed tropical fruit with a little bit of cantaloupe melon and passion fruit. So very, well, as it says, Exotic. So let's give it a go. Melon. Mm. I definitely get a lot of the cantaloupe and the passion fruit. What is cantaloupe even supposed to taste like? It's a melon, basically. It tastes like Sunny D. Or the orange. It's not the orange Sunny D. Oh, the old tropical Sunny D. Is that the one you're thinking of? I think so. It tastes like Sunny D, yeah. Okay. Definitely. What would you that give this nice. one out of 10? That is really nice. I would probably give that about eight. Eight? Yeah, okay. I like that well, one. I do like it, but once again, I don't think this flavour is for me personally, so no. I'm going to give it a strong six and a half to seven from yeah. me. So now moving on to Fresh Leaf, which is a dark chocolate tobacco. So this is the second tobacco out of this range, and there is also one more. So three tobaccos for a range mm, is amazing, really especially good. where we really, we haven't got a lot of tobacco we're, souls. Yeah, we're lacking in tobacco souls. And so far, there's two very different ones, which mm -hmm. is going to cover a lot yeah. of tobacco use. I'm definitely getting a lot of dark chocolate from that. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's very, very chocolatey, I've got to say. Mm. It tastes a little bit like chocolate bourbon, but a little bit earthier. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> so yeah, what are your thoughts on this one, Kate? I'd probably give it about six and a half. I like the chocolate in it, but the tobacco's... Um, yeah. yeah. You know. well, once again, um, we're just not fans of tobacco, yeah. really. Uh, moving on, uh, we're going on to Loaded Lemon Custard. Mm -hmm. This one is um, basically a salt version of the Little Lemon Felon from the nice. Ghetto Penguin range. Yeah. So the good thing about this is they've basically taken the fan favourites from their Riot Squad and the Ghetto Penguin range and put them into salts, mm -hmm. which is awesome. 
and this is beautiful it is really nice and custardy really lemony that is lovely what are your thoughts on that cake but you're not as partial to cakey i don't vote cakey at all i'm i'm more fruity and sweet but what would you what do you think about the flavor i almost think it's like lemon meringue custard yeah it, it's very lemony which is good because mm. sometimes you're lacking in the lemon but it's all right but not for me because so score out of 10 Okay. Um, I'm probably going to give this, this one a six as well. Um, I do like it, but I'm once again not as partial to the cakey stuff. Yeah. I'm more fruity, icy all the way. Um, moving on to probably the fan favourite from Riot Squads. Um, it's one of their most popular flavours. It's Pink Grenade. Um, as I said, probably their most popular mm -hmm. short fill. It's good that we got it in salt. Definitely. Now we got it in salt. Yeah. It's Pink Grenade. Like it is spot on to Pink Grenade. It's obviously an amazing flavour that one. Oh, it tastes better. Do you think it? Do you so think? It's sweet, it's nice. Score out of 10? I'm rating them too high and now I'm like, mm, they're all, they all get better and better to try them. Well, what are you thinking? Another I'm, eight. An eight? eight. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing actually, so yeah. Eight out of 10 for this one. Nice. Uh, moving on, we're going to be on Pure Minted, which is a peppermint fruity combo with a little bit of ice to it as well. <laughs> this one's lovely. See, I was always a big fan of Frost mm -hmm. and. Yeah. This one, I wouldn't say it's as icy as frost, but it's it's really, really good. I always like a good menthol flavour. That's lovely stuff. And you still get that nice amount of fruit to it, but it's Ooh. almost like a sweet... I wouldn't say it's fruity. I'd say it adds a sweetness to the menthol. Yeah, it's, it, yeah you can't, I wouldn't say you can taste any fruit to it. It sort of like, tastes like a sweet in it, almost. Do you think? Mm. Okay, fair enough. Square out of 10 for this one? Oh, I, I might have to give it like a... Do you want one more? <laughs> I've rated them too high now, and now it's getting difficult. Well, the thing is, they all deserve the ratings they've got so far. They're really, really good flavours. I like that. So, square out of 10? Uh, eight and a half. Yeah, I, I think I'll give this a strong eight, mm. personally. Um, next would be Sublime, another fan favourite from their short fills. Uh, this one is a lemon and lime sherbet, mm -hmm. so let's see what it's like. Beautiful. There's a lot of lemon, a lot of lime. Mm -hmm. It's almost got the same sherbet sensation as the cherry fizzle, but obviously with a fresher yeah. Fresh lime. Fresh sherbet, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say I think this one's better than the short fill as well, personally. Yeah, I was about to say you don't really get the sherbet flavour at all in the short fill. Mm. This is quite. Um... I think they've definitely knocked out the park for these flavours. Mm. I'm a huge fan. But I mean, since he's come in the shop, I've used nothing else salt wise. Mm. Um, and yeah. they do a five milligram as well, which is amazing. Which is really good. They mm. must have. Um, it's definitely a hole in the market that they've instantly just filled. Me personally, I've been on ten milligram yeah. for so long and just been wanting to go down. Definitely. Because, but where I like salt flavors, I think they do taste a lot better. Mm -hmm. I've well been stuck on ten, so so far I've been using gives five milligram. You, gives everyone the option to slowly go down if they wanted to, which is really good. And to be honest, if you're on ten milligram, you don't get a lot of throat hit anyway. And I found the transition for me, I'm, I'm not really noticing a difference. But obviously, I'm on lower nicotine, which is a lot better anyway. Yeah. So the next one, we're moving on to our final tobacco, um, which is okay. just a creamy. regular creamy tobacco. Um, so yeah, let's try this one. I think this is my favourite tobacco so far because it's a lot it's a lot creamier, it's a lot sweeter, yeah. but still with the nice earthiness of tobacco that obviously tobacco users look for. Sort of like a slight hint of caramel vanilla, like that sort yeah. of taste, yeah. I like that. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably agree that it's probably... So no, I like the chocolatey one. Yeah. Not too bad. But the good thing is about this range, as we said, is there's a lot of choice for everyone. There's fruity, there's a cakey, and there's a couple different tobaccos which would just really tailor to each individual person, yeah, really. What would you give this one out of 10? I'd probably give it about six and a half. I think it's just been my favorite tobacco, so I think I'm actually gonna give it an eight, because yeah. even though I'm not the biggest fan of tobacco, I have to, yeah. I do rate the flavor, I think it's yeah. really good. We're coming to the, um, almost the end, so we're on our last flavor now, which is Tropical Fury. Uh, personally, this is the first one I bought, this one. Cherry Fizzle and this one, <laughs> for me, they're very, very close. So Tropical Fury, another short fill, which to be honest, I was never a fan of the short fill. But no, I wasn't either. I mean, I've already cracked through four bottles. When they came <laughs> in, I did four bottles of it on one coil, which yeah. was awesome. And yeah, I love it. It's very pineapple-y. You've got a lot of different fruits going in there. Oh, I just, I love this flavor. Uh, and this one's gonna be my second 10 out of 10 because it is my other favorite. Oh I love this one. It's amazing. What would you give this one out of 10? I haven't given any a 10 yet. I should have given my bubblegum one a 10. I would actually give it about a nine and a half. So yeah, Tropical Fury, um, yeah, it's amazing. Can't believe the flavour you're getting from that as well. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. amazing. Especially on the Caliburn as well, which doesn't look like 
the kind of the biggest device in the world, doesn't look like the most output, but the flavor of it and yeah, they're just really good devices to be fair. So, as we've just tried them all. Okay, um, obviously I probably can guess your favorite would be bubble gun chiller. Uh -huh. um, I can't pick between tropical and cherry. Really can't, I love them both. I've done a lot of bottles of mm -hmm. each. Um, so as a range, what do you think? Yeah, I'm really loving the range. Yeah. It's a, literally every something for everyone. You've got the cakey, you've got chocolate as well, which, you know. Because the chocolate one, it does have that earthy undertone, but dark chocolate has that earthy undertone exactly. anyway. So you um, don't really notice the tobacco as much. I actually quite like the chocolate one. Do you know what? I think it's a really diverse range, mm -hmm. and it, like as you said, there is something for everyone. Yeah. So if you haven't had a chance to try these yet, um, make sure you pop down to your local store. Uh, at the moment, they're only in select stores. Um, I know Haven and Salsi being two of them. Um, they are on tested, but they will be coming to the other stalls very soon. So now we come to the end of the video. So today we've managed to try all the Riot Squad salts, and as you've seen, both of us are huge fans of them. They're awesome. And um, like I said, definitely give these a try. If you can't get down to a local store, make sure you do pop on the website because they will be on there as well. And if you don't know where your local store is, pop on the website as well, just because uh, it does have a list of all our stores with contact numbers and address and everything. Once again, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you do like and subscribe. And if you have any opinions yourself, make sure you drop them down below especially if you tried them yourselves as well make sure you give us a follow on facebook and instagram as well we're constantly posting about new stuff coming up like the black friday deals like um staff reviews on what we think as well as in if one of our staff is using the setup just their opinion so everything will be linked in the description and we hope you enjoyed the video guys and we'll see you later have a good evening or have a good day bye guys bye.